everyone. We are the group one. The group one is comprising of five members, which includes yours truly, Christine Monj, Nadika Kashpar, Harjinder Palkaur, Adenike Thani, and Yu Fang Chu. We're going to discuss about Virginia Henderson's theory. Our learning objectives are identify Virginia Henderson's theory, identify Virginia Henderson's educational background and career, describe the goal of the need theory of Virginia Henderson, to outline the major concepts of Virginia Henderson's theory, to discuss about the fundamentals ideas of the theory, to apply the theoretical framework into clinical practice based from actual scenarios, to create an evaluation plan utilizing Virginia Henderson's theory. Good afternoon, I'm Nadia Kashpar. I will start with uh, Virginia Henderson uh, educational background and professional career. First of all, she was born in 1897 in Kansas City, Missouri. She is the one of the foremost nurse of 20th century. Earned her diploma in US Army School of Nursing in Washington DC in 1921. Her bachelor degrees, she got it in teacher school, Columbia University. Henderson's career in public health nursing began in 1921 at the Henry Street Settlemental in New York. She was author of 4th, 5th, and 6th edition, revised edition of Bertha's Harmer's textbook of principle and practices of nursing. Virginia Henderson was recognized as one of the 51 pioneer nurses in Virginia 2000. 2000. Virginia Henderson was visiting private nurse and research nurse. About regarding her developmental theory, her goals were to define the unique focus of nursing practice. The theory focuses on the importance of increasing the patient's independence to hasten their progress in the hospital, and also emphasizes on the basic human needs and how nurses can assist to meet those needs. Major assumption of Henderson theory is nurses can care for the patient until they can care for themselves once again. Patient desire to return to health, nurses are willing to serve, and in that case, nurses will devote themselves to the patient day and nights. Henderson also believes that mind and body are inse in inseparable and they are interrelated. Major concept of the Virginia's theory is individual, environment, health, and nursing. Speaking of an individual, Henderson states that individual has, all individuals have basic needs, they are component of health and require assistance to achieve health and independence or even peaceful death. Environment, maintaining supportive environment conducive for health is one of the 14 elements mentioned in Virginia's theory. Health. Nurses are key persons in promoting health, preventing illness, and also being able to cure. Regarding the nursing, Henderson defined nursing as the unique function of the nurses is to assist the individual sick or well in the performance of those activities contributing to health on his recovery he would perform an aid or he had the necessary strength, will, or knowledge. I'm Adenike. I'm going to discuss about the fundamental ideas about the theory of Virginia Henderson. The fundamental ideas about the theory is to define the unique focus of nursing practice. The theory emphasizes the importance of increasing the patient's independence so that process after hospitalization will not be delayed. The theory also recognizes assisting individuals to gain independence in relation to the performance of activities contributing to health or its recovery. Furthermore, Virginia Henderson described the nurse's role in three ways. The first one, she said, the nurse's, one of the nurse's role is to be a substantive help that is doing for a person meaning that a nurse will put herself in a position of the client. Again, she said, nurses are supposed to be of supplementary help. That is, staying in position of the patient. And lastly, saying 
nurses are supposed to be to be complementary help to patient that is complementing what a patient cannot do the theory was based on three major assumptions which are one nurses care for the patient until patient can care for themselves once again we all know that a person that is ill may not be able to perform some things nurses are supposed to be there until the patient can be able to do it all over again <coughs> nurses are willing to serve and that nurses will devote themselves to the patient day and night the reason why nursing is all about shifting duty nurses are supposed to be there 24 hours of the day and lastly that nurses should be educated at the college level in both sciences and arts, which is partly what we are doing and partly what we are supposed to do to be able to care for our patients effectively and efficiently. The working components of Virginia Henderson under physiologic components is number one, breathe normally. Number two, eat and drink adequately. Number three, eliminate body waste. Number four is move and maintain desirable posture. And number five is sleep and rest pattern. Maintain body temperature within normal range by adjusting clothing and modifying the environment. Keep the body clean and well groomed all the time and protect the integument. Avoid dangers in the environment and avoid injuring others. Psychological component includes the interaction between the one person and the other. It is the communication with the other in expressing emotions, needs, fears, and opinions. It is also learn, discover, or satisfy the curiosity that leads to normal development of human being in accordance to health and use of the available health facilities like your hospitals, community, community clinics. Under spiritual components is worship according to one's faith. And under social components would be work in such the way that there is a sense of accomplishment and play or participate in var various forms of recreation. As the theory goes by, Virginia Henderson's created 14 components of activities for clients' assistance. Henderson's work is relatively simple, yet generalized with some in limitations. Her work can be applied to help of individuals of all ages. Each of the 14 activities can be basis for research. The concept of nursing formulated by Henderson in her definition of nursing and the 14 components basic nursing is uncomplicated and self-explanatory. Therefore, it can be used without difficulty as a guide for nursing practice by most nurses. This is our scenario. Anisha Gill is 80 years old. Chinese Canadian fell off the ladder after painting her house. The surgery for performed while the patient was under general anesthesia was uneventful. The subjective data we gathered is that she was excellent health before the fall. She played tennis three times a week, walked 30 to 50 kilometers a week, always had problems sleeping. Um, she has difficulty of hearing and she wears hearing aids upset with injury and an impact of an activity of daily living and she has no relatives or friends to assist with care. Objective data. She was admitted to PACU with abduction pillows between her legs, two peripheral IV catheters, self-suction drain from the hip dressing, and indwelling urinary catheter. Collaborative care includes post-operative orders vital signs per pack routine, dextrose 5% in 0.5 normal saline at 100 ml per hour, morphine via patient controlled analgesia 1 mg every 6 minutes, 30 mg maximum in 4 hours for pain, advanced, as, advanced diet as tolerated, and triflow spirometer every hour.
Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm going to report a uh, Virginia Henderson theory. Um, this this theory has about forty components of nursing care. So I'm gonna report one to seven. Uh, the first one is breathing normally. Um, the um, the patient, the vital sign is normal, chest wall symmetry, and uh, airway pattern normal. And um, for the theory, uh, for the Henderson theory. Uh, um, nurse require assistance to achieve, achieve my health. So um, the patient have maybe have the risk for the um, the respiration complication after surgery. So we will watch uh, teach patient how to deep breathing and cough uh, properly. And in the go and evaluation, we um, just uh, um, hope that client can demonstrate using the experimental uh, uh, correctly and regularly. And also, um, cry can um, have no respiration complication after surgeries. So, um, next one is uh, eat and drink uh, adequately. And the, the cry have a gas relaxing in normal and um, advanced like diet as a tolerant. So, um, according to uh, the Henderson series, um, the nursing have to consider. Uh, consider client's cultural background and the preferred food that reduce um, uh, imbalanced nutrition by environment change. So uh, we have a uh, intervention for um, the patient as uh, invite patient discuss her food because of cultural background. We will inform the dietitian. Um, so like a uh, different culture, so a uh, file fit the uh, um, the food for patient. So in the goal and the evaluation, uh, we expect that client can share his food habit and the prefer food in uh, discussion and uh, also the um, intake output can balance. So in evaluation like um, uh, we the client should stay like she um the client is she she is a a vegetarian and only drink uh filter water and the uh, uh, IO is in is balanced. And the next one is uh, elimination body waste. Uh, the client still suction gen from the hip the dressing and also have uh, in the wearing uni urinary catheter. Um, according to um, Henderson theory, um, the um, um, client assistant, well, the nurse have to assist the client, um, temporary assistant chi, um if the chi leg of a necessary strength. So we monitor intake output and um, also observe and the record amount of the wood and suction pain. So in the goal and evaluation, we expect the chi can understand why she, why he, she have a like, suction chain and that um, she can help to record in uh, appropriately. The next one is um, uh, move and uh, maintain a uh, desi desirable posture. Uh, the client admitted to PSU with the abduction pillow between his leg, uh, up but the upset with the injury and the um, and its uh, impact and and um, active. Uh, for according to the Henderson theory, um, we need assist and support the individual in the light active and the light uh, at at man in uh, independence. So in the intervention, uh, we just teach client use the suitable device or moving and the change position, and also collaboration with the uh, physical therapy to educate the client uh, how to use the crutch and the work. So in the goal and the evaluation, we will expect the, the client can uh, demonstrate correct how to use. Uh, uh, the um, the device properly and also ability to transfer herself and from chair to bed or bed to chair, and um, next one is the sleep and the rest. Uh, the client um, have a have a show like a pain we found the um, showing sign of pain uh, according to face scale, and um, always have a problem sleep um, before she uh, in hospital. So um, according to Henderson theory, um, we the nurse is uh, expect to um, carry out the physical physical uh, therapy plan and um, individual care in the result of nursing um, creative in planning for care. So um, we teach teach client using um, how to use muffin control control um, 
medication, uh, and we assist the, the client pain every two hours. Uh, in the goal, uh, we expect the client can report satisfied with her pain re relief already, and we um, expect like a less than three the scale of the pain scale. And the client and the um, beverage release of the pain and the can sleep and the rate and the property. Last one is yeah. a, a slight suitable cross and dressing the undress. Um, the client has no relative and f or friend can help her. So um, we, um, according to Henderson um, theories, cultural sensitive um, is very important. Uh, especially in the client's the Chinese elderly, and um, maybe feel like a shy to e express uh, her own feeling. So we uh, will, um, in the intervention, we will ask the client every time when we perform the dressing cry and then make sure client understand. So um, in the goal, we a client can express her preference, like dressing or report satisfied on her dressing in PSCU. Last one is a uh, maintain body temperature within a normal range by adjusting clothing and modify the environment. So the client admitted to PSCU and the room temperature is 20 seconds. So uh, we just check the t uh, temperature of the room um, uh, always and make sure the client body hand um, is warm. And we expand the client, the body is warm and the client stay like a she is warm when every time we just try to ask her. I'm Harjinder. Today I am going to discuss about the 8 to 14 components of nursing care. According to Virginia Henderson, the 8th component is keep the body clean and well groomed and protect the integument. For the assessment, client can perform some personal care on her own to promote independence. For the interventions, assist client in washroom apply body lotion, change her dress in the morning and in the night time. For the goals, client can maintain her personal hygiene and skin integrity. Evaluation, increase confidence, self-esteem and rejuvenate. Next one is avoid dangers in the environment and avoid injuries. For the assessment, client likes client likes to wear running shoes as she loves to walk. Her house is free from clutters. For the interventions, keep her bed in low position to prevent any falls and further injuries. Provide running shoes. Remove clutter from hallways. So for the goals, client can maintain safety and decrease potential for injuries. So for the evaluation, participate in her care. She has begun to verbalize her feelings. Ninth one is communicate with others in expressing emotions, needs, fears, and opinions. For the assessment, uh, my patient has no relative or friends to assist. Nurse suggests help from community resources. The nurse's role is to assess and listen to concerns and feelings. Always check on her hearing aids. For the interventions, always stand in front while talking, acknowledge her concerns, listen to her and give time to response, collaborate with OT and PT in developing and executive continue exercises. For the goals of my patient, client can talk confidently in a group, restore her muscle strength and balance. For the evaluation, observe confidence regarding her feelings and concerns and revive muscle strength. Next one is worship according to one's faith. For the assessment, client always prays at night. She is devoted Chinese Catholic, assess her background and culture. So for the intervention, I will pray with her at night time. I'll give religious books to read and encourage her to watch a religious program on television. For the goals, 
client can express sense of spiritual satisfaction. Evaluation, express finding the meaning in the present situation and her own existence. Next one is, according to Virginia Henderson, the next component is work in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment. So for the assessment, recognize the patient's efforts on every progress. Interventions, appreciate for her efforts for range of motion passive exercises and reading religious books. For the goals, client can achieve independence for her daily routine. For the evaluation, express eagerness to recover early. Participate in passive range of motion exercises daily despite some dis difficulty. Next one is play or participate in various forms of recreation. For the assessment, client likes to join marathon run. She always likes to participate on um, community tournaments. For the intervention, watch marathon race and tennis matches on television, participate in various games like bingo and word games. For the goals, client can keep her mind busy and occupied by various recreational activities and discuss alternate recreation activities. For the evaluation, my patient can participate in unit recreational activity and indoor games. The last one is learn, discover and satisfy the curiosity that leads to normal development and health and those available health facilities. So client, my, my client visit her doctor every year for routine health checkup. Nurse's role is to educate her of the available resources for health care. For the interventions, encourage her to visit her family doctor and routine checkup. Refer her for community resources to achieve available health facilities. For the goals, my client can compliance with treatment. For the evaluation, demonstrate positive attitude for her early recovery. The group would like to thank you for listening and watching our presentation. We'll see you again next soon. Good evening.